Hey guys, All in Crypto here, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another YouTube video. In this one, we are going to be covering three altcoins, which I think you may regret not buying during this bear market. Just as always, a quick word that this is absolutely not financial advice. This is something that I'm personally, or these three altcoins, I am going to personally be buying in this bear market. I have not reaccumulated yet. I already still hold um, small bags of each of these, but I will be looking to allocate capital when I think the time is right very aggressively to these three altcoins. We've got lots of cryptos that we're looking to accumulate, but I believe that these three um, should be almost somewhat a staple in your portfolio. So what we're going to do is we are going to look at the three individual altcoins that we're going to be giving in this video. A little bit of an explanation about what they are and why I am choosing them uh, and why I'm so excited about them. And then we will take a look at the charts, look at all time highs, where they're at today. And maybe I'll tell you where I think they could potentially be going and where I'll be looking to buy. So let's kick things off with our first altcoin. And that is Chainlink. Chainlink, I believe, is a very slept on altcoin as it is essentially a fundamental part of the crypto space. It is the enabler for DeFi. One problem um, that altcoins or that crypto blockchains have is that inherently they cannot get access to off-chain data. So they're very good at taking um, sort of on-chain data and it's this whole kind of concept of, a, a, of the ledger. You know, they can kind of read things on chain. It's immutable. And that's how they work so well. But what they can't do is go and get external data from other sources. So an example for, exa for just a, a kind of wild example is the weather or, um, you know, the price of maybe a gallon of milk in Texas or whatever it may be. Well, Chainlink bridges that gap. Now, somebody that was very early in Ethereum's DeFi summer, you know, took a huge part of it and was an early investor in Chainlink. I've seen this coin do very well, and I still think it is actually undervalued where it is today and is going to get cheaper. And I'm going to be looking to absolutely capitalize off that. Let I cannot stress this enough. Chainlink is a crucial, crucial component to the crypto space it is really the enabler of DeFi. it is partnered with virtually every layer one or layer zero blockchain as an oracle service a data provider if you will they are looking at bringing staking and we had some absolutely massive news from chaining involved in swift partners with crypto data provider Chainlink on cross-chain protocols in a TradFi play. Interesting um, or interest from institutional investors moving into crypto has been undeniable, according to Swift's strategic uh, director. So the fact that they've chose to partner with Chainlink is a huge vote in confidence. These guys are partnered with everybody. And like I say, they are literally the enabler of DeFi. You know, you need a reliable and in this case, decentralized keeping in with the whole kind of um, pillars of blockchain, although a blockchain doesn't need to be decentralized to work. Um, you need a decentralized and in this case, decentralization is actually um, very, very helpful in terms of providing data because you go to multiple sources and you kind of take the um, the average. So if there was five people telling you one thing and one person saying another, you know, that individual, if that information is deemed to be wrong, gets punished. And this is how Chainlink kind of works and provides data um, to these blockchains, enable them to do all sorts of things like, you know, execute smart contracts, so on and so forth. So Chainlink, I think is going to be absolutely huge. And I don't think people really grasp just how necessary it is. It has fallen rather from grace at spot 22. Um, here, this is interesting. Transaction value enabled. It's talking about $6.1 trillion, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and I do think I've got that right. Uh, $6.1 trillion. The market cap of Chainlink today is $3.8 billion. And it has a price of $7.73. It's down 62.5%. Um, on the year. Let's just take a very quick look at Chainlink. So Chainlink had its all-time highs at around about $52, $53, um, and it is currently down 85%. Now, I personally think that this is going to go lower, it doesn't have to come drastically lower, and I'll be waiting for those buy opportunities. I do have a Patreon. This isn't a shill. You don't have to join it, but I do give my community there 
um, regular updates on what I am or am not buying, you know, 100 X altcoins and actually when I'll be looking to accumulate. Um, but what I can tell you, uh, and that's in regards to specific prices, but what I can tell you guys um, is that um, I'm not a buyer here. I do think that we have lower prices to be had for the cryptocurrency market. Genuinely, I don't think it's going to be a very good um, time period that we are moving into. I think it's going to be a, a rather harsh winter where people are going to have to make the choices between paying their bills or holding on to their crypto. And for that reason, you know, I'm a simple risk to reward guy. Um, we'll, we'll trade long and short, but for a uh, investment purposes, and I plan on in investing in all three of these altcoins, we are very much sidelined um, and US dollar heavy. And that's really paid us. Um, so let's move on to the next altcoin. So I think this is going to do well. I think it's going to see all new, new all-time highs again. So just back to new all-time highs. Um, and remember, none of this is financial advice, all just my own opinion. You're talking 587%. I'd take that any day of the week. Uh, I'd take a 10%. Um, but from an investment point of view, you know, I really want to get this right because the lower down you can get it, the greater multiples you're going to make on the uh, new boron being issued in, which is going to be largely correlated to the sort of macroeconomic situation which we talk about daily on this channel. The next blockchain is going to be Cosmos Atom. Now, lots of people don't know that Luna, which got to nearly a thirty billion dollars in top uh, in terms of market cap, was actually built on top of Cosmos. Cosmos is this new kind of innovative way, and we made a video talking about Atom two point nine because everybody was talking about it, but nobody understood that it was really a proposal. Um, you know, and we actually covered what was involved in it in yesterday's video. So for those of you that haven't seen it, well worth a watch. We break it down. There was a lot to be bullish about, like the token issuance, which we will talk about. Um, but a, a quick overview of what Cosmos is, is essentially, you know, we have evolved from Bitcoin to Ethereum, which is a smart contract layer one protocol. And I think we've now evolved to this concept of layer zero, which essentially means that instead of people being able to build a dApp, Cosmos is kind of like the security layer that people can build their own blockchains on top of and sort of takes care of the consensus um, in some cases and so and the security and so on and so forth. It really facilitates people to be able to build their own sovereign individual blockchain. They're a very philosophical bunch, the, Cos uh, the Cosmonauts. Um, and we have said we are going to try and turn some of you into Cosmonauts because this is a coin that I really want to accumulate because I love how they've done things. One thing that I've been in crypto for that long, I've seen so many copies and repeats. Um, but one thing that I love about Cosmos and actually the second or the third altcoin that we're going to talk about is they're doing blockchain in a different way. And they're enabling people to not only be able to build a dApp, but be able to build an, its own sovereign blockchain. And you can see here, it currently has 49 of what are called zones. You can see that crypto.com is one. You've got the Cronus, you've got uh, Osmos, you've of course got the Cosmos Hub, you've got Evemos. These are some smart contract um, sort of layer one independent blockchain, so Ethereum competitors. And then you actually had things like Terra, which got to um, a $30 billion market cap just built on top of Cosmos. Not only that, all of these blockchains can interoperate. So it solves, you know, if we want to interoperate between Ethereum and Binance or um, Polygon or... Um, for example, Avalanche, we have to do that via bridges. Well, with building your own blockchain on top of the likes of Cosmos, essentially you don't you, you remove the need for a bridge. And what you essentially do um, is it's inherent that if you build on top of Cosmos, you have this interchain security, you have this interchain um, messaging system where you can transfer assets about very easily rather than having to bridge. And we've seen all the catastrophes that have come as a result of bridges within the atom 2.0 white paper they had proposed a new issuance so one thing that puts people off about atom is it's sort of seven to twenty percent inflation rate well that is coming to a sharp um end potentially if this proposal that was proposed in the atom 2.0 white paper you know the atom one vision has kind of been fulfilled um comes to fruition so you can see in the dotted lines you have and we'll zoom in a little bit more um the distribution or, or, or the kind of inflation model and you can see it's very much up into the right whereas the, the new one really tapers off aggressively after 26 months or sorry 36 months um, and then you can see here again another demonstration you know you can see the inflation model old in the dotted line and then the kind of increased inflation model i think 46 percent potentially the first however long six months or whatever and then it really starts to, to uh, taper off so this is going to increase the scarcity drastically reduce it if that takes place um, and given the demand I think this token is going to have, um, 
being the kind of centerpiece almost if you will of the cosmos ecosystem the preferred collateral i think it's going to do very very well and it's shown enormous amounts of strength thus far and i think it's going to continue to do so um we have been long short long short atom but in terms of investing we are very much staying out we do think there's lower prices to be had for this token providing that things don't change and we continue on the sort of economic journey that i think we are on where is atom ladies and gentlemen it's currently 23 so just below chain link it's currently sat at 13 dollars and eight cents um and he's up a uh, a whopping 30 or 63 percent thus far all-time highs were around about 46 dollars i do think it will get back there um, and i do think you're going to get this at a cheaper rate so that would put you at a 256 percent Again, I do have um, where I'll be looking to actually buy this token, but what I can tell you is it is not yet. Let's move on to our third and final altcoin that I think you will regret not buying in this bear market, and that is Polkadot. So Polkadot and Atom, I'd call layer zeros. So again, very exciting for me, this kind of concept um, of layer zero and how, you know, with Atom, for example, you have Cosmos and you have these zones. With Polkadot, you have something called parachains. Um, and, and, and they are very similar in many ways, but very different in others. In terms of liquid staking, which is something that was proposed in Atom 2.0, I actually think and believe that Polkadot is ahead. And you can see a, a good visual representation of Polkadot and how it works is you've got this inner ring, um, which essentially is the relay chain. So this is the heart of Polkadot remember what i was saying about it being a layer zero and the kind of security mechanism um that sort of provides throughput so on and so forth so you can just build a, an app specific or a, or a um, app specific isn't the right word a task specific blockchain um there's huge benefits to that you no longer just have to build a dap you can build an app they also have not anybody can build on top of polkadot you have to win their slot auctions, their parachain slot auctions, and you need DOT to do so. So I think it has amazing utility for the underlying token. Also staking, securing the network um, and governance. Um, and again, back to this, this is a really good visual representation. You've got this inner ring here, which is Polkadot. And then you can see you have these parachains that are connected to it. Just like with Cosmos, all of these can interoperate with one another. So you have within both Cosmos and Atom, Ethereum competitors being built, smart contract competitors, DeFi specific chains, so on and so forth. It's very, very um, appealing to me, both Cosmos and Atom. And I think there are going to be some real stars within the next bull market. Polkadot is actually at spot 11. It's at $6.46. It currently has 179 projects. Now, that is not just on Polkadot. That is on Polkadot and Kusama. Polkadot has a kind of sister network. Um, but you can see here, these are all the chains that are currently built on top of um, Polkadot alone. Pretty cool. Uh, and one thing I want to stress about both of these, I'd say Atom in terms of their ecosystem is further ahead. I also think that Polkadot has pretty crap choices for wallets in terms of wanting to use the DeFi space. I'm a DeFi native uh, for all intensive purposes. Um, but, uh, you know, I, one thing that really excites me is these are still very new projects. Crypto as an industry, guys, is still very new. Uh, and there is going to be another bull market. We just don't think the time is yet. We don't think this is the bottom. We think there's lower prices to be had. We think we're going to get to the tens of trillions. I think we got to $3 trillion as a market cap. Uh, and I do see that as a real vision and eventuality for crypto. I think that's the the, the road that it is heading on. Um, so we're not buyers of DOT here. It looks very tasty. We did actually say, and we, we've made lots of videos on this, that we weren't buyers over here. And everyone's going, oh, this is the bottom. And we pumped and everyone was laughing, blah, 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 blah. And then we actually come to put in a new low. We understand the macro situation very well. That's why you should subscribe to this channel and watch my daily cryptocurrency market updates. But there you have it. There are your three altcoins to, re to recap. Um, the, the first one that we gave was Chainlink. It's an absolute staple. Cosmos and Polkadot. Now, these were just brief introductions, um, hopefully putting them onto your radar. You guys do your own research, look into these, and I'm sure you will come to the same conclusion that I have. Very, very bullish on these. We have got more altcoins that we will be releasing, so make sure you um, hit that subscribe button, click that like, and leave me a comment. Um, we will also, and we have done quite a few videos on all of these on this channel, individually reviewing them um, and we will do more as things come out we're certainly going to cover the sort of swift partnership and what this means for Chainlink, along with uh, um, staking enabling or being enabled so it's down um polka dot a whopping 88 percent 
back up to all time highs, you're looking at 749% gain. So maybe I'll be slightly overweight. Polkadot, I think it's going to do very well. It has all the right backing and an amazing team and foundation. And that is all we've got for you in this video, guys. If you have enjoyed this content, a like is always appreciated. So is a comment. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next YouTube video. Thanks a lot for watching, ladies and gents.